Hi, welcome to my new project presentation called uh, called Excel to uh, HTML table conversion with uh, search slash filter option. So I actually am calling this project as command output to HTML table for the simple reason that it's a, it's a, the method that I'm going to demonstrate now is a very versatile method which can be used for various purposes. Apart from converting Excel sheets to HTML tables, you can convert command outputs, you can convert text uh, data files from servers, databases, etc. and command outputs to HTML table with the, with the same method. This is a very simple one line command that you're going, that you're going to issue in your command prompt to convert your uh, CSV converted Excel files to HTML tables quickly. So let's look at it now. First, I will give you all the links of my projects which are going to be useful in this regard in the description box below, YouTube description box below. And uh, once you download, uh, go to my visit my project site, you can click the download button. Yeah, that uh, This download will give you a tablet.zip file which will be of 34, 35 MB size. So once you download it, go to your explorer, go to your explorer, downloads area, and um, and uh, extract the tablet.zip file that you downloaded. Extract it, right click it and extract, choose extract or extract all or whatever. And you should get a tablet folder in the same location. So open that tablet folder. You should see a lot of uh, files in the parent uh, main folder. These mm, files are mainly for Unix, Linux, and Mac uh, systems and servers. Uh, these, but the README files are general files. You can read it, and also you can view the LibreOffice calculator, calc file save with any custom delimiter file video file in this folder. You can view it. Of course, I recommend if if you if the font size is very small, please view this video in full screen mode. You can turn it on now. I can wait a couple of seconds. Yeah. Now, if you have turned on full screen mode, it will be easy to see now this demonstration. So, what you have to do is, um, let's go into. Uh, the uh, for converting excel sheets on windows pcs and servers so you have to go to this for windows folder so just go into for windows folder choose the bit 32 bit or 64 bit system depending on your system you choose the folder so and then once you choose it you go do the date modified descending uh, choose the date modified descending and all the latest files will be which are which i've added or updated will be on top so especially the readme file. So what you have to do is, uh, before you go through the readme file, I will tell you a prerequisites for converting an Excel sheet. So you have to, as I said earlier, you have to convert your Excel sheet using the free LibreOffice portable software. Of course, LibreOffice offers you a portable version for all operating systems. Um, so Windows, for Windows users, download the LibreOffice Windows Portable and uh, open your Excel sheet first. So let me open that. A sample Excel sheet I've got with a lot of data inside. This is the non-profit database, non-profit list database. So I right click it and open it with LibreOffice. In, a, in other words, you can also open LibreOffice Portable first. The, there is an executable called yescalc.exe or yesoffice.exe. So inside the subfolders, uh, so you have, to, you have to mainly search in your Windows Explorer search box. You have to search for yescalc.exe, yescalc.exe or yesoffice.exe. Open it and open your uh, spreadsheet program called calc. So I open LibreOffice, open this Excel sheet. I have opened it. This is the database we are talking about. I'm going to convert this uh, Excel sheet and show you how the converted sheet will be. So once I do open this Excel sheet, I have to choose save as. 
from the menu file file menu you have to choose save as and in save as choose the file type as text csv and uh, you don't need to give dot csv extension it will give it automatically so otherwise you can remove this automatic file extension and choose dot text or something like that uh, i will uh, make it as a smaller name say my sheet dot txt i will remove the automatic file extension and my sheet dot txt and save it inside the tablet folder for windows 64 bit i will save it here as my sheet dot text and save it so once you save it it will ask you whether you want to keep uh, the text csv or odf you say text csv i want this is the most important thing which will come the character set is the most important uh, setting first of all see this this character set which is there within the brackets are also used in the html files and my scripts and uh, the name of uh, the setting will be called char set c h a r s e t so you have to remember this character set that you are setting here and uh, you use the same setting in your html file as well right click the html file open it in notepad or wordpad or whatever uh, and then change the character set setting to this setting so generally utf8 and iso8859 hyphen 1 are very frequently used character sets but for other languages non english speaking languages you have to use a different character set so now let's choose some character set say utf8 and field delimiter is pipe this is important you have to type pipe here pipe is a good, very good choice for delimiter and string delimiter field delimiter is field delimiter is pipe but string delimiter should not be empty should be empty and click okay so now it says only the active sheet will be saved you click okay yes you have to repeat it for each sheet so that uh, that's it i think we have saved it as my sheet dot text inside that folder so let's see this go into the tablet folder for windows 64 bit and my sheet dot text is ready i double click that my sheet dot text you can see it is nicely delimited with pipe character everywhere so now it is very it will be very easy to convert it into a nice html table so let's see the next step how to do this conversion i will open the readme for windows users dot text and uh, inside that i will use this line this uh, uh, cat line before the examples i have this cat line i will uh, copy the entire line command c or control c whatever press enter and paste it here again and then i will change everywhere cat cat is the command for reading uh, which is a unix linux command but i have ported it to windows as well so i've got the ported copy of it on windows as well for windows for in windows folder as well so cat will read your file so let's change it as my my underscore sheet dot text yes and then next command is said it is the output of cat is passed to the said command so set command will remove duplicate uh, blank lines or unnecessary blank lines it will clean up and then it will go the output will go to gawk next gawk will read the tablet dot awk script which i have written and then uh, the field delimiter what is your delimiter which is in between your input columns it is pipe we have set it as pipe so set the pipe character and then my title will be uh say my sheet i will name it as my sheet you can name it as as you want it whatever database or my day da employee database i can name anything my sheet for shortness i will put as my sheet and my header will be my data i think i will put it as my data and then hyphen v header equal to one nothing to do i think mostly whatever is within double clo quotes you have to edit it except for the set command and then uh, the output name of the html will be my sheet dot html so this command is ready now you have to co uh, copy the entire line come command c control c and open your command prompt in this location how will you open it in windows right now i am working on macbook pro for better video demonstration facilities but uh, the process is similar almost so you just open i would i would have clicked uh, here on mac i would have clicked the terminal here terminal icon here 
but uh, in case of windows just put the i in the address bar or location bar just type cmd and press enter your command prompt will open in this folder 64 bit folder it will open paste right click right click your mouse it will paste that uh, command or control v also you can use or edit paste uh, from menu also you can use so control v for pasting is very good so paste it and press enter key so once you press the enter key this command will execute and create a mysheet.html file that's it so easy to generate a html from a large text file of yours or csv file of yours you can generate a um, html table of course a few caveats few issues might arise like a zero byte file might uh, get generated the first time you might have to retry it retry the command again so the, all these things will exist like even uh, you might uh, in case of a batch file if you double click a batch file it will execute but sometimes you may have to give the name of the batch file in command prompt and then press enter then the file will get generated so remember all these small small uh, tips which you can follow uh, i think this will uh, with this uh, presentation you can uh, do a lot of good work for publishing data on internet or intranet servers of your clients especially if you're for schools colleges organizations even wholesale shops or supermarkets you can take up jobs for publishing data on their web servers local or internet you can publish their data and give them and a few more tips uh, i will give you now for enhancing your html file say for example i will show you an example here this sample.html file here so double click it you can see i have linked a lot of things profile i have given link for downloading a file i have given uh, link to toll free numbers web pages photos everything so if you click a photo for example it will open in a new tab it will open the full photo full size photo so that is how this is helpful so how did i generate this thing i have created an excel sheet i have given you an easy excel sheet for this with formulas called sample.xls right click it open with your libreoffice portable or microsoft excel whatever you want open it and you can see that i have given the uh, for example i want a paul job for uh, that guy called paul job i want a download link for his profile pdf file so i have created a formula here so you can copy this formula adjacent to your cells and change the cell references that's it so easy like that you can do for everything every formula you can copy it and you make it easy for yourself and link your uh, important details and uh, apart from this i have given couple of other uh, useful things like suppose you want to work on a server server you want to automate so automate generation of this hyperlinking process uh, i have given a script file for that server sample code for scripts.bat you can see that edit that batch file right click it open it with some editor and see how i have done that it's a huge line you have to word wrap it view word wrap and then once you word wrap it i have given commands helpful helpful comments at the top and then yeah and then the excel formula itself is given here with a scripting language called gawk in gawk executable i have given the uh, hyperlinking process and then as usual i am cutting that to the html file after i hyperlink it so that's it so easy and then also i given you a way index web page suppose you have generated a lot of html files you need an index page which links all of them so i have generate to add to generate a index i have given a generate index dot bat so you can use that as well so that's it i think i have covered everything here um, uh, one important thing is do not forget the character set setting let me show you with an example uh, let me open some html file say let's say i open the index dot html file right click it open it with uh, say a good text editor like programmers notepad or something like in this i i have given you something in the third line called character set you can see it c h e r s e t this character set setting i have set it to iso 8859 hyphen 
this is go good for many languages including western european languages but may not be good for indian languages say for example which uses utf8 and also some characters will not get displayed properly if utf8 is not put here so you have to know the character set yeah, i have uh, given a section in the wiki page here wiki page contains on this website command of to html table wiki page contains lot of tips and advanced examples so that one can gain lot of expertise in this area so in this i have added a section for uh, character set so section 10 is for character set to be used for your input data so you can read through all these things at your leisure practice 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 as much as possible to make yourself perfect and expert expert in this area i wish you all the best and uh, apart from this i wanted to mention that in my profile page here is my nathan sr profile page right click it and open it in new tab you can see many projects of mine open source projects all of them so in this i have given a to z easy web page design for data this is another uh, html design html table design with a lot of categorization available at the top meaning buttons are available for categorizing your data so when you click on the button only that data will get displayed so like that i have designed this so this has some unique features you can this choose whichever you like so that way and uh, of course another project exists for linux conversion of data also but that is for linux experts so that's it i think i have covered most of the things what i wanted to say now of course the main page main project summary page gives you for unix linux and mac the commands the shell scripts commands for them but for windows i have added the commands only in the tablet folder in your explorer in your tablet folder if you see in the downloads area tablet folder for windows folder contains 64 bit and 32 bit and that contains if you date modified descending it contains all the scripts sorry for repeating it so that you can uh, memorize it well i repeat it so and i think that's it i wish you all the best so that you can publish data for various organizations even schools colleges organizations and also uh, shops and uh, supermarkets you can do it do your conversion publishing conversion of their data to excel sheets and uh, and also um, you can also learn a bit of html and uh, html tags especially and uh, sql language which is for databases extracting data data from databases you can learn it and google search also you can will help you further on this two lines especially w3schools.com contains lot of uh, useful tutorials on on html tags and uh, sql lang and sql so you can use all of them so i wish you all the best in all your professions and your part time and full time jobs that you assignments you take up with this so i wish you all the best and uh, do share this um, knowledge with your colleagues and friends so that they also stay helpful helped uh, in this so thank you very much for watching and have a nice day